The moment that we have been waiting for. Oh my god. Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video here on Hypixel Skyblock. And uh, today, man, today is the day that we get to make ourselves a pigment sword, hopefully. I don't know, we'll see, we'll see if we do. We should have enough, right? Yeah, 100%. <laughs> I don't know, dude. I just want to figure out if I'm uh, going to have enough after I craft all these dubs real quick. We have up to like three rows of 25, so that's like 75 dubs, which is not bad. So I'm going to be doing that real quickly. And then we get to see how much grilled pork chops we'll be able to get. And uh, so yeah, dude, I'm just going to be enchanting all this raw pork chop real quick and see how much we get, you know. All right, dude, I finished huh, freaking doing all this now. We got like up to 36 stacks and 47. I don't think this is going to be able to like get me up there. I need to get one more stack and a half so that I can actually get the sword. I'm going to have to be grinding that in a bit. But first, let's uh, fully make all this because we're going to get 14 grilled pork from this. And there's no way we're going to have enough right now. Because we need to get 15, I think. I'm pretty sure we have to get 15. In order for me to actually make this sword. So, yeah, dude, that's a huge ass yikes right there. Probably gonna be switching around the pigs for a little bit. <laughs> we go down here. 47, dude. We are one off man one we need two stacks and a half we are one flipping grilled pork off so you know what i'm gonna be doing for a while <laughs> oh boy i'm gonna be switching these pigs i'm not gonna make them like grind right here i'm just gonna freaking slay out these pigs instead dude so i'm just gonna pick up all these minions real quick and then i'm gonna probably replace the whatchamacallit the some of the coal minions at least five of them so that i can have like 15 well actually i don't think i can i mean i only have like one extra extra uh, ping minion right now so that's a rip but hey man doesn't matter right uh, i'm gonna have to give these guys fuel as well which is uh oh well unless i was about to say <laughs> oh that would have been nice dude all right hold on let me see how much we can get from here all right i think i can only get up to like four two four yep that is a rip. That ain't enough, brothers. That ain't enough. All right. We're at a stack in 52. <laughs> we still need another stack and a half or something. Okay, let's see. One, two. There. That's good enough. Pop, pop, pop. And then we do this. One, two. And then... Pop. Then I just need to put in their fuel. The lava buckets. The enchanted lava buckets, of course. I mean, it's not all of them are gonna have it, but some of them will. They're gonna be roaming around. Oh, yeah. It's not like they got anywhere else to go, though. You know, I think I am gonna be putting some slabs, though, instead. Or some blocks so that these guys don't go roaming off and fall off the ledge dude what is all i'm gonna be doing dude i'm just gonna be grinding these pigs for now hopefully get enough enchanted pork from these guys and then yeah i'll be able to make myself the pigment sword so i'll cut right back when uh, i have enough stuff <laughs> oh man dude i think i have enough now we should have up to 32 so let's see i do have enough right all right. Ah, I think this is all we need, dude. We got two stacks and a half. Do this. Just gonna split it. All we need to do is get one more chance to grill pork and then bada bang, bada boom, dude. All right. Ooh. <laughs> we get to make it now, dude. Oh my God. Okay, now I just need to get myself some sticks real quick. Here we go, man. The moment that we have been waiting for. Oh my God. Pigment sword. 200 damage. 100 strength. Ooh. Let me just uh, take a screeny right there real quick and uh, hopefully this doesn't disappear once I craft it. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Finally, dude, we have the best sword in the game right now. 200 damage, 100 strength, 5% crit chance, and 20% crit damage. Now the ability. You form vortexes of flame giving you resistance 1 and attacking nearby enemies with a projectile dealing up to 1,000 or 5 seconds if it lands. It does a mana of 70. Oh my god. Wait, dude, let's see this ability real quick. Ugh. No enemies within range? Oh, there has to be enemies? Oh, shoot. All right, actually, yeah, there is enemies over here. Hold on. Oh, yeah, I'm on a different <laughs> client now. I'm not on the Bellland client because right now there's having, like, issues with FPS and all that. So I'm just on the forge right now. All right. Ah, let's go inside, dude. What? These are enemies, aren't they? <laughs> okay, should we check how much damage it does? <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. I, I didn't see. 3,094 regular. This is fair. Kill a pig using the pigment sword. Oh my god, dude. This is a... Uh, hold on. That's 3,000 crit damage, dude. This is not even enchanted, man. If you compare it with this sword, the golem sword. I mean, right now he has stuff on it as a first strike. So obviously he's gonna do a lot more damage. Finally made ourselves the pigment sword, dude. Hell yeah, man. I like it. All right. Dude, this pigment sword is gonna be in my inventory 24 7 i'm not even gonna put it in the backpack at all <sighs> watch there be an update and then it just delete my inventory <laughs> i'm gonna be pissed dude i'm gonna be scared on where i need to put 
this it's just gonna be my inventory okay i'm not, not gonna do anything it's just gonna be a number one slot forever well not too long but yeah, yeah it's gonna be there forever dude i don't care about inventory space ah uh, yeah i'm not doing a level 60 enchant on this because i do not want to risk getting knocked back too on it at all so yeah that'll be <laughs> pretty bad all right so now it's time to use the titanic bottles and time to use these other book enchantments i don't know how long we've been doing this like what since episode 10 or something i don't know when i started this to be honest so i need to pay attention to these enchants because some of these have a lot more like enchantments so i better be careful i want to combine first because i think one of these has like look at this sharp five critical five first strike five all right uh, i need to get myself situated with these enchants if i combine these two these will be so these both are level zeros right so that means i'm gonna make it into a level one which then if i combine it to this it'll be level one as well let's see four no 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 three six so this is six enchants that i'm gonna be getting impaling critical first strike sharpness cubism and lethality so i'm gonna do that so this is a level one book pretty sure i'm gonna put this on first it's gonna call oh my god 57 levels okay if i do any of that i want to waste some of these levels before i use the titanic bottles all right so we got level one right here this is a lot of enchants i'm not gonna combine anymore so then let's uh you know i'm just gonna combine these two yeah i'm gonna combine these two together vampirism and venomous that's another level one i, think I should combine the three enchant ones with a two enchant book instead just to be safe just in case it does do a little bit more than normal and do ender slayer and execute together level 15 ender slayer execute the level one and then i'm gonna do giant killer and telekinesis yeah that'll be safe that'll be one level and then we're gonna do looting and luck together and then cleave lifesteal and then thunderlord all right so these are all level ones let's start this shall we so we're gonna put the most enchant one first it's gonna cost us 57 levels all right we got impaling critical first strike sharpness and cubism and lethality so that's six enchant this is level one now i think let me see let me double check real quick it's gonna cost 27 and i'm pretty sure that's a level one now so these are all actually combine that so it's level one so that means i can combine a book right here then okay i'll be safe we're gonna do telekinesis and giant killer first okay now combine level one level one so there's level two now so i need to get level two books now vampirism venomous execute and ender slayer first 72 34 there we go oh okay yeah this might be a bit expensive but hey man we're going for it so 55 levels okay we're gonna have four more enchants there we go so this is a level three now i believe okay so that means i can start the next patch and these are both level twos and so we're gonna put cleave lifesteal and looting and luck okay okay well what if i i mean this is the thing dude it's gonna fudge it up it's gonna make it more expensive anyone because <sighs> budget it's 100 levels now doesn't matter gonna have cleave luck looting thunderlord lifesteal bada bang uh, bada boom ladies and gentlemen we got ourselves a fully enchanted pigment storm without knockback and of course we're missing fire aspect but like damn i should really put fire aspect on this thing should i go for fire aspect real quick Nah, I'm gonna wait it out just in case like more enchants come later in the future and I can combine books and make it like less expensive so we got impaling luck critical cleave looting telekinesis ender slayer vampirism execute lifesteal giant killer first strike venomous thunderlord sharpness cubism and lethality bro is this not godly or what oh man okay um there's one thing to do this is a legendary by the way so forging this thing is gonna cost a heck of a lot of money dude bro, look at my case trucks it's in the middle like freaking bad line client please fix yourself imagine it disappeared dude oh okay well what's up ladies i do okay i'm not gonna press my freaking drop key or whatever okay we don't have that much money i mean we have 200k so uh, gonna cost us 5,000. i thought that's a 50k real quick so i think spicy will probably be the best unless there's a new one heroic 20 strength 5 percent attack speed and 20 intelligence okay so that's what heroic does i don't really want that one odd okay that is awful superior 10 1 1 the crit chance wasn't that 25 percent or was it always at five percent hold on okay it was at five percent okay i was about to say i thought it decreased it okay so hurtful five three three no oh, that's awful fair five of everything oh, what i'm looking for spicy this is what i'm looking for look at that crit damage plus 50 percent i don't know should i keep on going and see what other ones we can get i don't want to spend too much money but i wouldn't mind okay so this is spicy which means i ever get it again dude i might be pissed so yeah spicy plus 50 percent so our crit damage is 120 percent right there okay our attack speed is 10 then we got epic this one is awful i mean sure 15 strength but good keen awful godly awful zealous all right but not not amazing strong eh, spicy is way better dude yeah it looks like there's nothing new so i think i'm just gonna go back to spicy forceful plus 15 strength then gentle plus 10 percent attack speed demonic 
20 intelligence, fast, 10 strength, and 15 attack speed. I mean, it probably works on mobs, sure. Because I, when I was grinding the pigs, they were kind of slow. Oh boy, do you watch me not ever get spicy again? I'm gonna be pissed. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to grind some more. Wait, legendary? Wait, I mean, it's not. Ah, oh, should I keep this? Yeah, I wanna go for spicy. But legendary, plus 15 strength, plus 10 crit chance. Look at the crit chance. I gotta take a look back at the spicy and see what the crit chance was, uh, was for that. Current damage, a 10%. So attack speed, 15%. Intelligence, plus 25. I'm just taking a look at the uh, spicy. So the strength for spicy is plus 5, plus 1 crit chance, plus 50 crit damage, which that boosts this sword all the way up to 120% of crit damage. The attack speed is plus 10. Now I see the legendary right here. 15 strength, which is pretty good. 10 more strength, basically, from spicy. Crit chance, 15%, which is 9 more percentage than spicy. Crit damage, this is it's like... I'm debating on this one, the crit damage. Because, yeah, crits, it does a lot. That's what I mean, it does a lot of damage, you know? You get, like, a bunch of crits. So, with this one, crit chance with 15%, yeah, that's pretty good. And with the extra 15 strength, it is also pretty good. So, I don't know. I want to test both of them out, but I need to get more money and see which one, like, does the most damage. But for now, I think I'm going to be keeping legendary. So, I get plus 25 extra intelligence, which is uh, not bad. And we're going to go out and test this thing out, shall we? I like the spicy one just because of the crit damage, but since this one pretty good too man it gives you a lot it's a legendary enchant so let's uh, go to the blazing fortress shall we first let's see how much damage 8,221. Hello. You know what I should do? I should wear my magma armor with the extra strength, dude. Alright, we'll do that in a bit. We'll test that out in a bit. Right now, my normal strength is 88. And those are my stats for everything. So do that plus all of these. Like, I have 120, no, 115 strength now extra. So, yeah, you guys can do the math real quick on that. I ain't trying to do it. Does it not work? Burning souls. So giving you resistance one and attacking nearby enemies with a projectile. It's not working. Wait, do they have to have projectiles? Uh, let's see. Let's go test it out in the caverns because projectiles oh that works oh. <laughs> so it only works on skeletons Yo, 125? So it only works on those that have projectiles. Wait, dude, the magma creams, these magma cubes also have projectiles. I mean, not, I mean, in this custom, yeah, but not in these ones. So this only works uh, for projectiles, so. Oh. <laughs> dude, look at the flame. <laughs> Dude, it has aimbot. What the? Okay. Wait, I want to see a, like a whole bunch of these. And there's only one way we can actually test this out with a whole bunch of skeletons. Let's then go to the deep caverns, go to the sanctuary and test this thing out. Wait, it works for zombies? Wait, wait, what? So it works for skeletons, zombies, but it doesn't work for magma cubes? Hello? Oh, I am. I just want to know if it goes through. Yeah, dude, let's uh, freaking train them real quick. Dude, let's play some kind of zombies. It does. Okay, so it like combines towards others. So it does a max of 1250 damage. Is how much it does. I did not bad. Oh my god. 9000. Okay, so yeah, execute. And they're like low health. So yeah, when they have low health, uh, execute does a lot of damage. So yeah, I don't know. So this guy's 122. 9995. <laughs> dude, this ability. Oh my god. I forgot two important enchants on this thing, dude. Scavenger. An experience. Oh, do I forget that? Oh, the this sword is not completed yet. I need a post scavenger and uh, experience. Man, I fudged up. Ah, that means I could have saved the Thunderlord. I forgot what level my sword is right now, too. Alright, since I think my sword is level 4 or 5, I did add Thunderlord, which wasn't combined with other books, so it is gonna be expensive on that end, but I'm gonna make these books instead of doing level 60. So I need to get myself scavenger and I need to get myself experience as well. How much will it cost? 64? Oh, it's actually cheap. Alright, we're good, dude. We're good. I wanna use a titanic bottle dude <sighs> Uh, yeah, I'm not using a titanic bottle. I'm gonna have to go uh, mine some grand experience. Or I can just go down in the mines and get up to level 60. Got enough levels to put on experience and scavenger on this thing. And oh my god, this thing is... <laughs> wow! I am gonna have scavenger. I don't have scavenger on this right now, right? Or experience, because I'm not wasting this. No, I do not. Hope I definitely do not. Okay. I can't believe I forgot the two most important enchants. Oh my god. Now it is a full complete god sword, dude. Look at this, dude. A legendary pigment sword. The ability and this reminds me of the pigments in the deep caverns, you know, in the redstone area. I don't think they do it anymore, though. Well, I don't really mind that they don't do it no more. I think they removed it because it was a bit too OP, I guess. I don't know. I mean, I don't mind, but hey, guess who's back, bro? Yeah, that's right. 
I can do it to you now before we end the episode and uh, gotta, we gotta go fish. Gotta go fish it out, you know. I'm be wondering what should we be fishing out and why. It doesn't even matter that we should fish out something because um, if we fish something out that has more health than us, I want to see how much Giant Killer does with this sword. So I'm gonna try to fish out the Iron Golem or the Sea Guardian or whatever or the Silver Fish one. I mean, I don't have the other ones. I don't have Hydra. I don't have the other ones. So yeah, I'm gonna, gonna be able to get Sea Leech, Guardian Defender, Deep Sea Guardian, Protector. Uh, this one has more health. 6,000 only. Come on, dude. Can I do more? God, I gotta not let them hit me because it'll just mess me up. It's 6,000 right there. Giant Killer. I don't think he did much right there. Yeah. I don't know. 10,533, dude. Oh my god. Oh, it does 10,000 damage. Okay, instead of 8k, so that's like 2,000 more. Yeah, so it does like 10,000 damage if they have more health than me, so... <laughs> Man, that's a lot. If I were to do, like, test this out on the Magma Cream, the Magma Cream, but the Magma Cube boss, eh, I would guess, I don't know, maybe I'll do a lot of damage to him, but it's like, when you're close to it, you try to hit it, I mean, at least, I don't know if they updated it or not, and it doesn't really register your hits, so it's kind of hard, because the hitbox is, like, right in the middle, so it's kind of, like, hard, you can't really hit it on the outside of it, you have to use, like, your bow, like, kill the Magma Cube boss, dude, you need a bow, that's the only way you're gonna do a lot of damage to it, but the Oh my god, I killed all of them in one shot. Okay, well, there you go, dude. <laughs> That's what Cleve does. But yeah, dude, I'm gonna be replacing these guys now. Don't need the pig minions no more, so I'm gonna be able to go for other collections now, finally. Uh, I can go for something else new. I was thinking of going for Ender Pearl collection, obviously. Trying to get the aspect of the end, because why not? And then trying to get a teleport pad. Saving Grace, test that out, because oh, GD, well, I need to get two more god apples. But yeah, it's gonna be easy. You know, this is completely useless but whatever it's good to test it out i think i'm gonna be placing down a whole bunch of uh, ender minions i think or i might just like for overnight like tonight i might just place a whole bunch of cold minions instead so yeah we're gonna have like 16 cold minions <laughs> all stacked up dude this guy's gonna be all by himself i mean uh, i just want to get enough enchanted like lava buckets for these guys and you know not even worry about giving him coal or charcoal or anything like that so yeah dude this freaking legendary pigment sword is pretty up <laughs> it's pretty legendary dude it's uh, it's pretty nice. I'm not gonna lie. Actually, there is one more thing that we have to test out, dude. That guy with the freaking magma helmet just reminded me. Oh my god. We need to go put on that armor real quick and see how much damage we'll do with the extra strength. Alright, dude. The only reason why I wanted to get this uh, magma armor is because I have strength, like, on the thing. Well, well this one has demonic because of the intelligence, but, like, yeah, you understand. These two have force fall, so that's, like, 20 strength, and then this one has 7 strength with the extra crit damage. Just play only 3 strength, so, yeah, I'm up to 118 strength. Combine that with the uh, how much do we have? 115? Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, combine those two. That's like 233, I think, strength-wise. So, pretty nasty, man. It's pretty nasty. So, we were doing 9,000 to 11,000 with the magma cubes. Yeah. So, let's see. In the wither skeletons, it was like 8,000. So 9,000 to the Wither Skeletons. So yeah, 7,000 to that guy. It depends sometimes. So Yeah. Alright, so let's check this guy. 11,000. Alright. That is a uh, pretty OP, man. So yeah, if you have extra, like, strength boost up to, like, 100 strength, then you do a lot of damage with this thing, dude. Oh my god. So yeah, I'm just gonna be replacing the pig minions. I'm just gonna be placing down a whole bunch of coal minions overnight, and then probably tomorrow in the morning, I'm gonna replace, like, I don't know, maybe all of them? All the coal minions? Or maybe, like, 10 of them? Like, how oh, I had it set up up here. I, I kinda wanna do all of them, though. And just place ender minions down here, get the collections, or the ender pearls, and then we'll go off from there. But yeah, yeah, dude, we got ourselves a freaking pigment sword. Oh, yeah, it took us a while, but uh, yeah, man, that freaking three, four rows of 25 dubs. And it's like sort of four rows, but not really. That really helped us out a lot, man. And uh, yeah, dude, this grinder is pretty OP as well. Obviously, you first have to get the collection before you start using this, because if you just start using this for the pig minions and then you try to collect this, it's not going to count towards your collection. So now you first have to place them down, like automatically kill them by yourself or let your minions kill them and collect it from their store and yeah that's how you basically get all the collections before you start doing any of these grinders make sure you have the collections for whatever you're trying to go for before you put any minions in this type of grinder or anything i see the auto grinder over here where you can just slay them out yeah that's fine you just have to be online legit just sit here and uh, punch away you know i mean you can watch some videos while doing this you know <laughs> <laughs>
Ooh, look at that, dude. Yeah. So it looks like cleave does not work with the telekinesis, which sucks, but eh, whatever we need. So yeah, dude, this sword is uh, pretty OP. I'm gonna be using it 24-7 now. This is gonna be my main sword. I mean, I'll probably use my shard, my blade sometimes, maybe. I don't need cleave at all. So yeah. But anyways, dude, thank you so much for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.